Yang is showing me around the lab, and as soon as I step in, I realize that things are made. It's not just imagine, you know, that you're imagining a product, but you actually have to do several iterations of it, and you have to think about how it's going to be used by someone. And over time, these things get better and better. And so, this whole technology that we're using as the human interfaces with the computer is just part of an evolution. People engineer these things. In today's world, clicking may actually not be the best thing. You look at Fitbit, you look at all these um, commercializations right now, and we're moving away from that, really. And when you're stepping into that prototyping lab, you start to get a, a real feel for it. Because they're using biometrics, uh, lasers, waves, to really to go around issues that are probably very common, right? Like hospital hygiene, um, early stroke detection, fall detection for aging population, even lifestyle habits logging, like the next generation of Fitbit in a sense. And at the same time as they're designing this, they're also thinking about all these other concerns, like if I have a sensor, how do I shield it from different elements so that it can last a really long time? Can I have privacy emmed in by design by just having a lower resolution? Or how can I design batteries that last a really long time? 